In verse 2, it says, one evening, David got up from his bed and walked around the roof of the palace. From the roof, he saw a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful, and David sent someone to find out about her. The man said, she is Bathsheba, the daughter of Iliam, and the wife of Uriah the Hittite. Have you ever been driving, and especially on a two-lane highway at night, and someone flashes their lights at you? And they're like warning you, hey, there's a police officer up ahead. If you're speeding, you might want to slow down. God bless those people. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. And, and so but the, what they're doing is they're warning you. They're flashing lights, they're warning, saying, hey, there's a police officer up there. You might want to slow down, and, they, and, and especially if you're speeding. So just they're warning you. Well, that's what this messenger is doing to David. David's sitting on his throne. And this messenger comes in to let David know, um, that woman that you saw bathing that you were, you know, trying to find out about, yeah, um, that is uh, Bathsheba. She's the daughter of Iliam. Now, Iliam was one of David's mighty warriors, one of his 30, one of his go-to warriors that, that David had. And he's like, mm, also, that is the wife of Uriah the Hittite. So this messenger, he's trying to be very... Um, diplomatic, very polite, all right? David's the king, and he's trying to let David know. He's trying to warn him, like, hey, David, just so you know, this is Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah. Yeah, that's right. Um, he's one of your soldiers. He's at war, really, where you should be, <laughs> but you're at home. At that. And he's trying to warn David, like, hey, just, just so you know, she's married. Move on. <laughs> like, you're the king, just, you know, she's married. And we would like to think that, you know, David being, you know, the man that we know him today would do just that and, and move on because she is married. And so David is now faced with this situation of how am I going to respond? I, I found out about her. I liked her. She's beautiful, but now she's married. Now what am I going to do? How am I going to respond to this warning? Do I heed the warning or do I ignore the warning? I mean, we've all ignored warnings before, right? I mean, you know, maybe you've been to the doctor and they say, hey, your, your cholesterol's a little high. Your blood pressure, it's a little high. You need to dial back on the sugar, the red meats, and different, and you need to exercise. And, and maybe you've walked out of the, you know, you're not at the doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. And then you walk out and you keep eating the same fast foods that you've always eaten. And you still don't exercise. Like you've just pretty much ignored what the doctor has said. And we take it, even it, we ignore even the medication that we take. We ignore the warning signs. I mean, have you seen the list of warnings, possible side effects of some of these medications? Like sometimes the warning list of the medications is longer than the commercial itself, right? But we're like, hey, this is going to make me feel good. I have a headache, so I'm going to pop this pill and it'll take my headache away. And just ignore all the other warning signs that are possible. We've ignored warnings before. So... Uh, this decision now is in David's hands. Um, and have you, ever, have you ever ignored a warning, though, more than just kind of a doctor's orders or this, or, but spiritually? Like spiritually, you've ignored some warning signs in your life. Maybe you've had a friend or a family member kind of warn you, like, hmm, you need to watch out the decisions that you're making, the path that you're beginning to walk down. It's just, just might not hold up, just relax, just you're starting to walk down some a sinful path, and maybe it's been um, a pastor, maybe it's been a family member, uh, maybe it's been someone in your connect group that has said, "Hey, you know, just uh, kind of warning you of seeing some of the decisions that you're making." And and what about the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit connect or convicts you about decisions or a lifestyle that you're living? How do you respond when someone warns you? Because ultimately, it's your decision of how you respond. That messenger was just warning David, like, hey, she's married. You've been warned. The Holy Spirit's convicted you. You've had people in your life that have warned you about different um, decisions and paths that you've taken. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's up to you about how you're going to live this life. So it's David's decision. 